One of the world's most beloved comic strips is the late Johnny Hart's BC, which is still in print today thanks to his talented family. In 1983, the characters from the strip were translated to a computer game called BC's Quest for Tires and put out for the Commodore 64, the Atari 8-bit computer, ColecoVision, ZX Spectrum, MSX, and Apple II computers. This is the game footage for the Commodore 64 version. Okay, I haven't played this game in about 20 years, so I expect to die very often. Okay, your name is Thor. Oh, look at that. Thor just fell. Your name is Thor, and uh, you've invented the wheel, and you're trying to rescue your girlfriend, Hot Chick, from a dinosaur that has her captive in his cave. The way we do this is we uh, run around here on our wheel. Do we run on wheels? We don't run on wheels. We roll around on our wheel, and we can adjust our speed. Now, right now, I've got it at 40. Obviously, the faster you go, the uh, faster things move across the screen, and uh, technically, you should be able to jump higher. It took me a while to remember how to jump. Basically, you don't use the fire button to jump, you just push up. And when you're up in the air, you can actually move to the right to try to coast in the air a little bit. That defies physics, I'm sure, but uh, that's how we play this. And that is Fat Broad, if you're familiar with the comic. Timing, timing. Ah. Okay, try it again. I'm pretty good at this part usually, as I recall, but rusty. And away we go. Now to adjust your speed, you hold the button and push right or left, and that'll change your speed higher or lower. Okay, so now we're going uphill. This is uh, kind of reminiscent of uh, Jungle King or Jungle Hunt, whichever one you're familiar with. They're the same. Always tried to figure out what those were. Rolling coconuts, rocks. I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. For 1983, the graphics are really nice. Large sprites. Um, very recognizable uh, from the comic strip, which is still being put out by uh, Johnny Hart's family. Which is really funny. He also did the Wizard of Id. Oh man. Come on, come on. Okay, so it flattens out. We're at the top of the hill. I never really know exactly what speed to set it at. Now, I remember... Oh, that little bird that flies over your head helps you cross a great big uh, hole in the ground. Oh, but there's no bird now. What happened to my bird? Where's my bird? Okay. That's not good. No bird. No. Oh. What happened to the bird? Oh, yeah. Thank you. So the trick is to get underneath the bird so that you can jump up and he'll uh, help you cross that great big lava-filled hole. This game actually won uh, a lot of awards back in the day and was ported on a lot of home systems. You can see why. It is a lot of fun. Um, I've always enjoyed playing this one. It brings back a lot of fond memories. Uh, of course, what comes up must come down. Now we're going down the other side of the hill. Ugh, which I am no better at than going up. Okay, awesome. Oh yeah, you're supposed to speed up there. Okay, you speed up and you can make that jump. Totally forgot about that. Again, to speed up, you push the button and push to the right. It takes a little getting used to. You would want to push the button to jump, but no. There we go. 
I'm gonna slow it down. So we got falling rocks now. Or coconuts or ouch or something. Oh, totally not fair. I'm going really slow here. I don't know if that's better than going fast. I don't know. I just try it. Alrighty. Uh, kind of like the fat broad stage. This is the final stage. I think if you don't do it correctly, game over. Oh, you're kidding. Well, that's BC's Quest for Tires. It's a lot of fun. I like BC's Quest for Tires. I've always liked it. Give it a try. And uh, thanks for watching.